Did you have any other gaming stuff? Yeah, I do actually. Right I was in, oh, nice. I got a PlayStation 3, and then I've got some games, and I have Wii games, but we don't have the console anymore. So. Well, yes, from the PlayStation 3. Um, I'll sell it for 70. 70? Okay. And it's going on eBay for like 80 and 90. Okay. So. And then what are you asking on the games? Um, just a couple bucks. Yeah. Whatever you guys. Yeah. What? You you taking them? I'm not trying to step on you. No, no, no. We. There's there's a duel. Yeah. We were kind of. <laughs> like, should I have put the gaming system up at you? You don't want any more? No. Okay. Are you that weak? You yeah. know, I got we do, um, yeah. that uh, oh, exercise, like the thing you step oh, yeah. on. I've got two games. Okay. Like games. Two, three, four, five, six. Would you do ten for this? For yeah, the stack? I'll do ten. Okay, for sure. No other video game stuff like Game Boy, um, DS, anything like that. Um. Jamie, is any good? Vitamix. Give a spot I can plug it in real fast just to make sure. Yeah. Alright, appreciate it, man. Alright, I did end up paying him 12 bucks for that. Uh, first time finding one of these. I've only ever heard of Vitamix, so I'm super curious what that's actually gonna bring. It looks like it just needs wiped down. I mean it's pretty good condition. We did plug it in and it works. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Doing great. You good to go in there? Sure. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. And my son, I mean. I'm just carry it to the car. We're right across the street, but I appreciate right. it. So we got two dollars and twenty-five cents. I'll just give you three dollars. No, you just give me two. No. Okay. Three. You said two. <laughs> you stay out. <laughs> a poor college kid. He needs all the cash he can get. <laughs> it's go. already a tenth of the price. What they get? I was surprised. Twenty-five cents is a crazy price for that. So. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for having me. Next time, <laughs> next time, come to me and you'll get a deal. <laughs> this is a deal. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs> thanks, guys. Guys, go late. We done sold the mess of stuff. Oh yeah. Okay, give me about a hundred dollars worth of stuff. Doesn't surprise me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's some kind of a mark for metal. Huh? A pocket break. Yeah. Never. That's never been ever. I, I, because I, I have no use for it. Never heard of it. What are you asking on it? Buck. Okay. Because I don't know what's even used for. I don't. Really? I was thinking maybe biking, but I don't know. I don't know what it is. Because I take, I got a break of bread. I take metal. I take a knife and mark it, then I bend it. Yeah. I, that's how I break oh, it. Oh, it's a scoring tool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I it's, figured I'll out. I score mine with a knife. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one. <laughs> No idea what it is, but we'll figure it out. All right, I don't know how well the GoPro is going to pick it up, but I looked up Hillmore Pocket Brake because there's nothing on eBay listed or sold. Um, but on all the different websites, they're all around like 55, 56 bucks. Um, even when you scroll down, I see more for like 55, 56. So 
I don't know, maybe list for 30 plus shipping and just see what we can get. All right, I saw a Canon camera bag from the street when we were driving by. We had to park pretty far, so see if we can grab that. The big one, how much are the tub, metal tubs? This tub? Yeah. Eight one, bucks. How much for the big one? There's a little one here. There's a little one here. What, you want both of them? Oh, no, I was just asking how much they were. How much for this one? Well, you gotta start somewhere. <laughs> how much for this one? <coughs> for the tub. Yeah. Smell it down. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering what you're asking. Oh, this whole, oh my gosh, no. I do not want the whole track. No? No. No, man, I'm good. Would you sell just that? If not, then then no worries. I completely understand. Nah, I, I would sell it. Um, yeah. What are you thinking? For just the cars? Yeah. I, I don't know. 20? They work. I do yeah. know that. I don't know if they, they work on the track anymore. I got gotcha. you. You got a couple of controllers. Rush it, put it all back together. Would you do 15? 15? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, appreciate it, man. Yeah, I just don't need the whole the whole track. <laughs> I've never seen the Lamborghini one, so those are oh. pretty cool. Yeah. Maybe you got a deal. Yeah, thanks, man. No problem. Oops. <laughs> We haven't sold anything yet. <laughs> How you doing, sir? Good. Good to see you. You too. This is Grant, my son. What are you asking on these, sir? The filters? Uh, five bucks together. That works for me. Oh, those are, yeah, they're about 15, 20 a piece, right? Probably. <laughs> there you are. Like for two. Why not? So Get rid of them, Mike. Oh, you got a bunch. Some of this stuff looks like you can. The female uh, owner sold this, like two. Oh, wow. Well. Which is not bad. Not bad at all. I don't, I don't know if they raised or not. Though. <laughs> Maybe it's not bad. $27. That's really cool. Yeah. Ten bucks. I mean, if not, it's going on my shelf. Yeah. <laughs> Ten dollars on that. Oh. Thing is awesome. Finally got sold. Have you opened the thing yet? I don't think it has batteries in it. Oh. Yeah, that's all right. It did one time. It one time. Oh, that's all right. I'll figure <laughs> it, does, it out. It does make noise when you open it. I, I always love SpongeBob. Oh, I love SpongeBob. It's the first sale that he's been on. Oh yeah? yeah. Nice. You don't have any other old Nickelodeon type stuff, do you? No. Not Cartoons. Nickelodeon. Or? A lot of like Peanuts and a little Disney. Gotcha. All right. Well, I appreciate it, guys. Thanks. You too. All right, guys, we really haven't been finding much. So I put the GoPro down. And of course, when that happens, uh, first sale without the GoPro, find something. Uh, picked up this Canon like little mini printer. And I've sold these mini printers before, but I've never seen ones that are actually called mini. Um, so that just looked like something fancy. She was asking 10 bucks for that with a whole bunch of new, like it looks like genuine paper for it. So I'm sure even the paper alone would be worth uh, something on its own. And then a power supply, um, stuff like that. A little Bluetooth adapter too. I don't know if that'll add extra value, but I think between 50 and 70 is what we could expect. Nice dude. $200 for a PlayStation 3? There's the case for that. Tack 2. I feel like Spider Man for the PS1 should be alright. Hello. Hi there. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you? Doing good. Thank you. <clears throat> Did you have any other video game stuff? Um, I think this is it for now. Okay. Me, I 
video gamers, huh? Do we have any more? You guys came at 7.30 and mostly cleaned us up. Oh, I'm sure. I, I bet. It doesn't surprise me. We hear that all the time. Do we have any more inside? Uh, no, not really. Okay. What were you asking? Uh, you had a dollar piece on the Game Boy games. What were you asking on, like, these individual games right here? Um, Okay. okay, thank you. Driver. Is it a dollar for the, uh, like the, this game too? Yeah. Sure. Okay, cool. Alright, I don't know if you saw, but there's another game inside here. It's another Game Boy game. Would you do a dollar on that too? Sure. Just want to be transparent that there's another game in there. <clears throat> Don't know if you noticed that, but I that's that's a different did. game. There's a Final Fantasy IV game inside this case. Oh man, I don't want to give that away. <laughs> yeah? What game is that? It's Final Fantasy. But what's the other one? Oh. The Henry Hatsworth yeah. game? Yeah. Oh yeah, dude, can I have that? Yeah, yeah. That's good. <laughs> I, kept my, I kept my Game Boy in Yeah? <laughs> that's funny. But do you, you know these are out there obviously, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, one five bucks. It's a good game for sure. That is your favorite one, right? <clears throat> Final Fantasy VI is a better game. Uh, okay. All right, five bucks, sir. Thank you. Nice, no problem. Thank you. Corvette is awesome. He's the guy that found that, <laughs> that guy we talked to him and blonde, that blonde lady wife, the guy that found that padlock in Fort Thomas at a yard sale. And what did he pay for it? 20 bucks. And that he sold it for what? 2000 What was it, a padlock? Yeah, it was a Civil War padlock. Oh, okay. It was, um, I remember he told me about that. I, 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 I would see him all the time at the antique shows. That's crazy. Oh. <sighs> I had a couple good days, but I never had one like that. <laughs> but, oh, I kind of, remember that bread case I had? The one we broke that glass in? I bought that display case for 400 bucks. I sold it to these people in Fort Thomas for 800 or 1200 or something like that. Big number, I can't remember what. They never came and got it in a year and a half. They only lived right over here. About two. Wow. Hey, Tony. Did that. <coughs> got a massager? Yeah, I said, I think my God. It's five bucks, right? Yeah, five like, bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sold them that piece of furniture, and in the meantime, they got divorced. <laughs> he didn't yeah. want it, she didn't want it, so I resold it. <laughs> it's five bucks. I Thank appreciate you it. Thank so much. Thank you. My, uh, that looks fun, too. The, yeah. the bike. Oh. <laughs> yes. What is this thing? That's a velocipede. You sit on the train tracks and you pump the handle and you uh, go down the train. You say, uh, like a maintenance guy. It oh. It be like a toolbox. Okay. Like a flat toolbox right like here. And, you, and like, like a signal maintainer would carry oil or stuff in there for switches. Mm. Oh, you look good with that. I paid one twenty-five for that, and I'm trying to get one twenty-five. I bought that at Lawrenceburg Antique Show about two years ago. Huh. I got two of them in the basement, and I just don't have no place to hang them or anything. This is awesome. I'm not sure how old the can is, but the picture is de definitely from 1962. Yeah. You in the electric business? Uh, no. Oh, that, well, that's a. Uh, what are you asking on it? Uh, that's forty bucks. <laughs> forty bucks on it. Yeah, that's a uh, sixty amp uh, non-fusible three-pole disconnect. I just had some, I, I was a huge electrician and we just had parts left over, I'd drag them home. I probably yeah. for 20 years. Gotcha. But it's brand spanking new. Yeah. I, I buy and resell and I've dealt with Square D before, but not the, I usually get those little uh, right. pump switches or something yeah. like that. Something like that. Um, yeah. I'll give you 40 bucks for it, sir. I know. <laughs> hey, I made 40 bucks. You got uh, whatever the hell it goes for on the internet. <laughs> There's another one down there if you want to just walk to that too. Okay. You want to take one? Take a couple stacks? I don't know. Let's see. There's those ones. Just found these yesterday, dude. Let's see what kind of design this has. Circles. These are these aren't the uh, glass tile like the the actual brand. But these are Sears versions of them. They're all different. You 
Yes. Just found some. I haven't found them in forever. We found them yesterday at a sale, and then we found them again today. So that's pretty cool. Fantastic! I'm so glad. Trying to get them in there though. Tricky. <laughs> you don't want anything for them? Well, I'm, I'll be happy to take it. <laughs> I'm just. I'm glad somebody's going to use them. You can. You can pay me something. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll give you some money for them for sure. What are you going to use them for? Uh, we actually uh, resell them. So, people people look out for these. Really? Yeah. I don't know about the Sears, but the GLAS tile, that brand, those things are good. 10 bucks work for that. Oh, heck. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> All right, cool. I'll take these to the car. Well, thank you for that. Well, that's great. I'm glad. All right, guys, quick recap on these mirror tiles. So these are definitely a bolo. Um, you guys saw in the previous video, I would think it's the previous video since that was the day before. We found these, we found these. So these ones are by far the best ones to find, uh, these gold veined uh, mirror tiles. These things are crazy money, and for a dollar is what we got at the one sale. Crazy deal right there. These things are up in the air on what the value is. I've never found ones with these kind of designs. Uh, she had a bunch of unique design ones, and they're not the they're not the genuine glass tile brand. They're uh, Sears version of them. Um, so it's kind of up in the air. So Jamie and I split these. I got two of them that look like this, and then like I think like fifteen to twenty of them that look like this. So I don't know. I listed the pair of these for 50 bucks, just kind of shooting for the moon um, because I know that these designs are pretty rare. Um, and then these, I, I don't I don't know yet. Um, let's just say do like two lots for $50 each or two lots for $100 each. I don't know. We will see. So Jamie got ones that were black on the outside and then a chrome circle on the inside and then other ones that were all black. So I'm curious what those are gonna bring. Once again, super hard to find comps. And he probably got, I think like 10 of the, the black ones and like 15 of the circle ones. So yeah, I think we'll do really good on these. So overall today definitely was a success. Um, I know you guys couldn't tell, but we definitely hit like 60, maybe 70 sales that day. We were grinding. So. This was a community sale down in Fort Thomas, Kentucky, and they advertised on their site that it was a one day only sale, one day, Saturday, and they put addresses to like 175 sales. And then of course, you know, people are gonna set up that aren't on the list. So it was just absolutely nuts. I gotta be honest, it wasn't the most ideal thing for people like myself trying to find good deals because there was people everywhere. You would pull up to a sale for one, their streets were tiny, so it'd be super hard to find parking. And then you'd go up to the sale and there'd already be like 15, 20 people picking the sales. So yeah, I mean, I'm editing the video right now and what, I picked up something from like 10 sales. Um, it just seemed like the quality wasn't there. Like, I think when you have a one day sale, that kind of just encourages people to, I don't know, just put like 20 items out and just call it a day because they don't have enough to like last three days. So I don't know, um, but yeah, like I said, it was a success, but it was definitely just a grind. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you and you have a great day. Bye.